This one looks like we have a little bit of Ukraine car here. I think I could have gotten Ukraine anyway here over Russia. Feels maybe more northern, so we'll, we'll actually see if I do know what I'm talking about here without the Google car. What is going on guys, it is Zigzag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Today we are back on the road to 100 country streak. It's a ongoing series on my channel, and in the last episode we made it to 65, which is really exciting. So let's see if we can best that today, or at least get close. Um, guys, before I get into the streak though, I want to give a shout out to Lenly. He's a long time friend of the channel, and he's just come out with his first GeoGuessr video, um, and it's a real banger. He's so good at rural world, so you definitely got to check that out if you like competitive GeoGuessr. But in the meantime, you got to watch this video, and we're going to be uh, getting straight into today's streak. So the way it works is I'll play the first streak, whatever we get, we get, and then I'll part away to my best streak of the video or the recording session. So this one feels French off the bat, I must say. Uh, it looks like a French number plate with a bit of blue on both sides. So I am liking France here. Looks to be French language as well. So let's just go somewhere in the south here. Ends up being middle. Hence, fine. And next one we have yellow center line. So I think it should be Mexico with Gen 2. And a lot of cactuses, cacti, depending on <laughs> what you say. Um, next one feels probably Czech. I would say this one's Czech here with, the, with these tops of the poles that I was telling you guys about in my last video. Um, could it be elsewhere? No, I'm pretty sure we've also got like this double pole, which you often see in Czechia and Slovakia. So yeah, pretty sure this is Czech Republic. Ends up being correct. Excellent. Within 100 kilometers as well. Okay, so dirt road coverage here. Not too many countries where you see a lot of dirt, dirt road coverage. We have a white car with a long antenna. Oh, so I'm still trying to think where this is then. Uh, big mountains in the background. Is this... Hmm. So sun is to the south, so northern hemisphere seems inevitable here. Is I don't think I don't think it's Iceland with this many trees, surely. It would be kind of a strange Iceland, although I could see it. Otherwise, where do you see it? I think there are some towns in Russia where you get it, but I just don't know if you'd find, um, you know, such such tall mountains. So, am I missing something here? I might be missing something, but I think Iceland is actually somehow the most likely here. Um, yeah, but it's a lot of trees for Iceland. That's what you must say about this round. So, I think there's like some forests inside some of these, like, nat national parks or something like that. But I don't know where you actually get coverage in here. Maybe over here. It's possible. Um... Hmm, definitely a tough round. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go for it here because it's early in the streak. Ends up being near Reykjavik. And okay, we have like a forest here. So that's actually in its own right quite a difficult round. I think without Carmenter there, I would have struggled to get it. Uh, anyway, here we have some, uh, some what looks to be a Finnish uh, language sign here. I get the feeling this one's quite far south in Finland just because um, it feels rather green and lush. Um, but I could be totally wrong about that. Let's find out. Ends up being much further north. Uh, so I guess I guess often they'll just cover more northern parts in in the summer, just as a general rule, because uh, otherwise it would be too cold in the winter. Anyway, we're on a five country streak here, so let's see if we can uh, continue on with this and get it to be better. Uh, this one also feels Finnish, I would say. It looks like a Finnish snow pole. Uh, we have Generation 3 here. But yeah, the bollards would fit for Finland as well, I believe. So yeah, we can go for that. And ends up being correct right near Sweden there, but I'm Pretty sure Swedish bollards look a little different. Uh, here we have an easy Denmark with those Danish style signs, and we are not too far away. Uh, this one, a lot of brick building, uh, looks like that might be a, not really sure, that might be like a Dutch kind of province flag. Yeah, so I can't remember what they're called in, du the, in the Netherlands, but yeah, we have yellow plates, so it should be in the Netherlands indeed. Um, so let's just go there. I'm not really sure what that flag means, so near Amsterdam there, so maybe I guess it's not the Amsterdam flag, but the next one over maybe. So with Generation 2 and these like kind of double poles, this one's definitely South Africa, not Australia. Although I could forgive you for getting this one wrong for sure. Uh, but yeah, also these huts, I guess it's, I guess they look a little poor to be Australia. Um, generally speaking, you'd see, well, I, I guess probably families live in here. So yeah, probably, probably would be a little too poor to be Australia, I would imagine. Um, anyway, so we get decently close there, just on the outskirts of Johannesburg. Uh, next one we have five on the crossing sign and what looks to be a Hungarian flag. We can confirm that with the holy pole here. So yeah, definitely going to be hungry here. And I would say we're probably just going to be near Budapest here, but we'll find out. Uh, yeah, not 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 actually near Budapest, near Austria there. Okay, so that was a 22.5 and we're on 10 now. So we are a tenth of the way there, uh, which when you say it like that, does, does, does make you realize the scope of the achievement of getting 100 streak, definitely. Uh, we have a white car here. This one's not one of the Mexican ones. This one's a Latin American car. Um, so I think, well, the only two options realistically here are Bolivia and Peru. 
Um, and with these cacti and everything, I definitely prefer Bolivia here, I think. Um, just trying to think, are there any other options? I'm pretty sure that's the only two that actually make sense here. So, yeah, so my out near Santa Cruz would make most sense to me, I think. And with these, like, white, da uh, yellow dashed, I think that's pretty common to see in Bolivia as well. Uh, so will I go for it? It has to be a little hilly, so maybe down here. Um, I guess, I guess Peru actually does also make sense here. That is definitely possible. We, unfortunately, we don't have any signposts. If we have a signpost, we can uh, look to see if it's dashed with black and white. We don't, though. So uh, let's just go for Bolivia here, which is my thought, and ends up being, yet yeah, relatively close uh, over in this section. So i got to remember this actually gets green as well. Regardless, we move to 11, and these look to be a Mexican um, octagonal poles, I would say. So let's take a look around. Um, yep, we got a short plate on the car. Um, all the poles seem Mexican enough, and we got like a Mexican paint job on the... Uh, wall there, so that makes life nice and easy for us. Ends up being a nice guess as well. Um, next one, we have white signposts, double yellow. So then, Colombian cross on the back of the sign. I I, I, uh, I must say, when I was looking in this direction, apart from the white signposts, I thought it looked more Brazilian. Uh, but then the Colombian cross comes through in clutch here. And so, where are we going to be? Um, it should be somewhere northern, I assume, unless we were down here in this kind of flat bit over there. But uh, I would say we're probably just somewhere over here instead. So it was southern. That was a difficult round. Without those signs, it would have been really tough, I think. This looks to be a, a tie pole, I would say. And then uh, with the single yellow line and these bollards here, this one could be Thailand. Uh, and uh, yeah, yep, single yellow line, left-hand drive. Uh, pretty much narrows it to Thailand. And I think Thailand and Indonesia would be the only countries that do that. And yeah, it looks more Thai, so let's go there. Ends up being a good guess as well. Good. Okay, next one. Looks like New Zealand holy poles here. Uh, definitely New Zealand feeling round here. Almost a, uh, well, yeah, very very New Zealand vegetation here, I would say, um, is, is, the, is the main part here. And uh, I'm sure that this one is 5 cable if you're, a, if you're a New Zealand enthusiast. But as for me, I'm not really too sure. What about one of these ones in here? Can imagine it being something like that. Let's go for it. No. No. Well, I also considered very far south, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I would have gone Stewart Island there. Um, but yep. Okay. So 15 streak. Terrible New Zealand guess, but we are still we are still chugging. We are still chugging along. Uh, and that's that's why it felt such cold climate actually in hindsight. Anyway, here we have what looks to be something. Mm, so we have the single yellow line. It was kind of hard to tell when we faced this way, but here you can see it is a yellow line, and so that would be Guatemala with this Google car. Uh, and yeah, it's quite hilly. I think we probably could have gotten this otherwise. It doesn't feel too Mexican. Um, but yeah, um, let's say we are. It's probably going to be like over here or something. I want to say no other side near the lake. Okay, so 4.6. That's good. Uh, next one looks probably Norwegian, I would say. Taking a look around here, can we see any green plates? I think you can see that in uh, in Norway somewhere in, a, in an urban setting. We don't see any on this occasion, not out of any of the cars, but um, the lollipop uh, speed signs are very Norwegian to do, that's for sure. And also we have Generation 4, which is just quite a lot more common in in uh, in Norway than it is in Sweden. So yeah, this should be fairly easy. Just taking one more look around here to make sure that we don't see any Swedish flags or anything, but with this hilliness as well, does not really feel too Swedish. So let's go, let's go around here. Ends up being a decent guess, but not too close. Next one, we've got the Kenya car and uh, let's go NMPZ. I could imagine it being around El Doret here. So let's go for that. So we're up being a bit further south. Uh, next one, another Kenya car this time. Probably closer to Nairobi, I would say. Maybe a little north or a little west of Nairobi. Let's go for that. Ends up being, yeah, a bit of north, west of Nairobi. So, good vibe. Um, anyway, next one. We look to be in US rather than Canada. Is that? Well, that might be a flag for a second, but it doesn't appear to be, actually. Uh, McKinley, which <laughs> gave me trouble last time because we were in Texas, but... Um, and I was I was I was I was thinking of uh, McKinley Mount McKinley, not McKinney, which is a part of Dallas. But anyway, um, this bus also could be either either Canadian or United States. I I I I tend to lean United States here. I'm I'm pretty sure this is probably a a, a state specific clue or something, but I don't know it. But regardless, I I think this looks probably too warm to be Canada. So I'm just gonna go for it. Let's go out here somewhere. Yeah, ends up being in Mississippi. So definitely too warm for Canada. And we moved to 20 here. So we are now a fifth of the way there. So 
always nice to keep an eye on how you're going. Uh, this one looks very Brazilian to me. Oh, uh, we've got like a bit of like the red soil seeping onto the road here. Not to mention these double yellow lines and kind of this like painted curb, I would say, on the side of the road. Very Brazilian thing to do. Not really sure how far south or north this is going to be, but I'm going to guess there. Ends up being right near Argentina there. So actually kind of a trouble round there. Um, I could have gotten that wrong. I guess I guess we did have the Google car to confirm that it wasn't going to be Arge. Um, but yeah. Uh, next one feels kind of Slovenian to me. Yellow sign here is interesting. Uh, kind of... Road's a bit cracked, but also, like, it's very, like, foresty and green, so that's what makes me think Slovenia here. Um, it's gonna be one of those rounds where you do lose a streak a good amount of the time, but I, I'm quietly confident about Slovenia. I'm just trying to think of other countries that it could realistically be. So, Austria is always possible here. Uh, could be, like, a weird Slovakia or a weird Serbia, but we have the antenna, so not Serbia, hopefully. Um... Weird, 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 uh, weird Italy is probably also possible, but let's go for Slovenia here. And we are correct. Right, so very close to Croatia, but I guess those forests are just more common in Slovenia, so we survive. Uh, this one looks to be quite an easy turkey, so we're good for that. And the next one, double whites. So I just realized we're still on the first streak here, aren't we? So that's, this has been a successful opening to the video. Uh, but with these double whites, I do believe, and we're driving left. So if you can't, if you didn't know this, if you're more, maybe a newer player, if you see this part of the car, generally speaking, that's going to be the back of the car. And so that's the back tail light there. And so um, we're driving left here. And of course, that means you can separate a whole bunch of countries that you ordinarily would be considering are no longer being considered. So I think with well, the double whites, well, there should be somewhere in Malaysia. Uh, and from what I've observed recently, this red soil just tends to be further south. Alternatively, and maybe more likely, we could be out here near Tawu, where you also Tawau, where you also get um some redder soil. Hmm. I'm actually not too sure. I think I will actually go for mainland here, but it's probably going to be here or here. Uh, ends up being on mainland just near Kuala Lumpur, so good decision making. This one, um, before we even look at the sky or anything, we can tell that this one is going to be in Senegal. We have this kind of like, I want to say like Western Australian looking dirt color, very similar to what you get in Western Australia. And then also these white dashes on the outside of the road, as well as all white road lines and these concrete ladder poles, which you can see here. Um, so that is French style as well, which means we're going to be somewhere in Senegal. So very, very convenient sign next to us that we didn't need at all, unfortunately, or fortunately. But we're on uh, 25 now, and that was a nice little seed there as well. I think. So let's see what we got going on in the next round. Another difficult one, potentially. In fact, I remember having this round with Lenny, who I gave a plug to at the start of the round, um, and I think we got it wrong. I think this one was in UK. Rockwall. I think we may have guessed France when it was UK, or vice versa. With the healiness of it, this sign means we shouldn't be in Ireland, because they would use like a yellow star sign in Ireland, I believe. Um, we got ferns. It definitely feels colder. I, I like UK a lot. Yeah, just trying to remember. I remember looking at this round with him for a long time, but I'm pretty sure this is just UK. Feels more UK to me. Um, but yeah, I guess you'd have to dig up the old. It's probably from like about a year ago. You have to dig up the uh, old video to remember what we actually guessed. But I'm pretty sure it is UK. I like it more than anything here. Ends up just being middle UK. Um, I thought maybe Scotland because of the hilliness, but never mind. Um, okay, so this one is Bangladesh. Uh, we can see that from the language here, political posters as well, decently common over there, uh, and this car as well. Um, and so, where in Bangladesh do we like for this? It's a very interesting climate, it feels very dry. I'm thinking maybe like near Chattagram, you kind of get this kind of climate sometimes, or maybe even north. I can't actually remember where you'd see around this dry. So yeah, we'll go near Chattagram here, let's see. It ends up being decently south, not a fantastic guess. Um, next one, Generation 4 coverage. Yeah, so these are, these, uh, these are the classic, um, the classic Danish signs here. Let's go over here, shall we? Uh, ends up being a, a pretty insane guess there. 4.2 kilometers away. Are you joking? Um, I, I felt really good about that guess for some reason. Um, but I did not expect it to be that good. Okay, very nice. Next one, we've got dashes on the outside of the road, and we have this Sweden car where you, Well, I'm not sure if this is exclusively in Sweden, but because of the short dashes on the outside of the road and this car with the blue strip on it, kind of, I think you see it in southern Sweden quite a bit. We've got a Volvo. Obviously, they're also made in Sweden. That's a Swedish company. Bollards are also Swedish. So, yeah, everything points to Sweden here. Let's go southern. 
and ends up being a nice guess. Okay, so double yellows here with these warnings, so should be somewhere in time one. Interestingly, this uh, warning doesn't go all the way to the bottom, so uh, obviously, obviously normally you would see it go all the way to the bottom, so I'm just going to confirm here. Um, well, you don't get Generation 4 in Korea, nor is this Korean language, so I'm pretty sure we are pretty safe here. Obviously driving right-hand side of the road. So, um, yeah, we are very good. I feel like this feels more northern, so I'm going to go near high... I'm not going to try and pronounce that. I tried to for a second, but no, it's near Taichung anyway. So, 30 country streak. We are going on a flyer here, and I overcame the Slovenia. That was the real tough round that we've had so far. Not not been terribly difficult seeds. We also had a US, but that was pretty easy. So, been lucky to dodge a lot of hard US Canada toss ups so far, so what I'd mostly say. Interesting. So, we're flying uh, European Union flags here somewhere. So, I'm, I'm thinking maybe more this side of Ukraine, maybe Lviv. I'm not really sure if this is big enough to be Lviv, but feels like it really could be. You know, it could be um, um, Ujhorod here. Um, that's this kind of reminds me of the vibe it's very green very leafy place um quite european like they would probably support like the eu more over there is, is probably my take on it so I, I could be completely wrong here watch it just be kiev but yeah we'll see uh okay so yeah it was just Lviv. i should have stayed there but um i thought it should be one of the two and we've got blue strips on the plates here uh kind of a ladder metal pole here so i like um I, before i even look at the google car i like serbia here a lot so let's see do we have an antenna no antenna so i'm pretty sure this one should be serbia um lots of like commie cars um this pole here i'm pretty sure you see in serbia sometimes and then just the the the, the color scheme of the houses now is that a hill because that i don't really think it poses a problem for us we're probably just in southern serbia where it gets hilly but um i would have been happier if it was flat i must say so, other options. I mean, North Macedonia feels less likely. I think North Macedonia would be a bit less dry, like this green grass would be less likely. Um, but it's possible. It is possible. Um, and then Albania seems unlikely. I guess Albania is possible. We don't see any rifts or anything, so I, Albania is possible, but I definitely like Serbia best of all here. So, also here is this interesting, like, stripe stop plus sign, but I'm not sure what the deal is with that. So let's see, Serbia, we're 60 kilometers away, right near uh, Bulgaria there, so uh, definitely a tougher round. Uh, this one feels uh, definitely going to be Sweden, I think. Long antenna, red houses, uh, let's see what this says. Mm, I'm unfamiliar with the INV ending, but we have to fill in yellow sign as well. And four dashes on the, on the crossing sign, and that language there doesn't really feel too Swedish on, off the bat, but I'm pretty sure with everything else here, we should be in Sweden. We also have this blue dash here. Um, so I, I take it with a grain of salt. When you see it at the back of the car, like here, that's when you should be in Sweden. Um, I'm sure you can see it in other countries too. But this is hilly as well. So, could it be Norway? Could this be Norway? With a yellow field inside, I don't think it will be, you know? Um, I'm pretty sure this is just going to be Sweden near the border somewhere. So let's find the biggest hills we can. Oh, it is a little concerning. It is a little concerning. What about over here? Right on the border. This, this all looks... It all looks Swedish. This street sign is a little bit weird. But everything else feels right. It just feels like Oslo area. That's the problem. So we're probably going to be somewhere along this border, I imagine. Or somewhere along here. Uh, but I'm kind of happy with where I have it. I wouldn't even be surprised if we're in the right town or something. So let's go there. Man, it was just in the middle of... Okay, you do get hills over here. That makes sense. So yes, yeah, so you can see those hills right here. Um, I always forget about those. And they always give me a little bit of a fright, but we're good. Our next one here, Stubby Antenna. Yellow plate, so gonna be Columbia. Could have been a tough round without that yellow plate. Uh, but on the grand scale of things, I do think I would have gotten it. So um, yeah, pretty confident with Columbia here. Uh, ends up being, yep, right in the center of the country. Okay, next one feels Brazilian. Um, Right-hand drive, very red soil, so that's what makes me think that Mexico is rather unlikely here. I would say we're probably just going to be in this northern part of Brazil. Um, yeah, so the, the, the motorbike probably also fits better for Brazil than Mexico, I would say, just in the middle of nowhere in Brazil. Could even be Amazon. This could be deep Amazon as well. But the red soil definitely makes me think that Brazil is easily most likely here. Sun more so, 
northern maybe, but yeah, really kind of hard to tell. Mostly just over to the west, so let's go for Brazil. Ends up being much further south than I thought, to be honest. But we are 35 countries in now, and this is something quite quite something for a first take. Anyway, here we go. Uh, we've got Brazilian poles again, and the red soil again. And uh, this time we've got double yellows and the black backs of the signs, and everything you would like to see in Brazil. So let's go over here. Uh, Goiás ends up being in Brasilia itself. Um, double white lines in the center here should be Russia. Um, dot .ge is interesting, but uh, we got dot .ru as well, so yeah, we don't have to really worry about that too much. Um, very flat landscape, very dry as well, or at least decently dry. So I would say we're probably going to be somewhere along the Kazakhstan border here. Um, might go near Saratov here, I could easily see that being the case. Otherwise we could be, could be all the way out in Asia as well. Um, but yeah, kind of like somewhere along here. Let's go there. Uh, ends up being pretty close. Yep, a bit further south, that's why it was so dry. Uh, and here we're back in Taiwan. This time we do have the, uh, the uh, kind of caution all the way to the bottom, so that makes life nice and easy there. Right near Taichung again. Uh, short dashes on the outside here. Um, is interesting. Again, we've got... Have we got another hilly Sweden? Uh, Stenbaken. So, yeah, we got another filled-in sign here. So, and the Barken ending feels very Germanic. So... Where in Sweden actually looks like this? We have to be pretty much on this road, I think. Um, and so we, we go right up to the kind of to the edge of the water here. So I'd say we're probably oh Stenbakken, we found it. Wow, that is <laughs> that was that was way too easy, man. Um, okay, so we're just entering here. So to our north, bends around like that. So yeah, I would say we're literally here. Uh, maybe like that, and then we have a road obviously going off to our east here, which I have not found yet. I guess this is that. So yeah, we should be like that. Okay, great. Oh, uh, there we go. Three meters away. <laughs> that was actually such a sick round. I'm, I'm so happy with that. Uh, next one is Japan. And uh, apparently, well, here's, here's an interesting thing if you're not too clued in on the GeoGuessosphere, is that these diamonds are done differently all around Japan, and you can theoretically learn how they do these diamonds. Um, they, they, they like spray paint them differently, so some have gaps, some have no gaps, some have gaps on the top, some have gaps just in the middle like this. So yeah, really interesting little meta that people have come up with. Um, but, as for this one, definitely feeling Japanese, full mountains. Wouldn't be surprised if we're in like Tokyo area here, kind of like that best. Uh, ends up being quite far north though. Okay, so we are on 40 now, so only 25 away from my best um, from the last video, but yeah, chilling. Okay, another New Zealand here, so I'm feeling I'm feeling great, honestly. I think we're gonna do well on this streak. Uh, this one feels Russian more than anything. Hmm. Yeah, so we have the yellow outside um, kind of border for this crossing sign, that's a very Russian thing to do. Uh, as for the bollards, these are Russian ones as well, I believe. So I think we can just send it here. Little Healy. I huh, don't really know where I like best. It could just be down south again. But looking at the landscape, I do not know where I want to put this. The fact that it's a little hilly is a bit strange. I might go all the way out here, actually. Okay, ends up just being near Kazan and Yufa and all that bit. Uh, this one looks like we have a little bit of Ukraine car here. I think I could have gotten Ukraine anyway here over Russia. Just definitely feels a bit more Ukrainian, I would say. Um, although, yeah, kind of, kind of would be a bit of a toss-up between the two, that's for sure. Feels maybe more northern, so we'll, we'll actually see if I am, if I do know what I'm talking about here without the Google car. Um, it feels actually a bit more northern, I would say, because of these Scots pines and everything. Um, but yeah, oh no, it could, could be southern. I mean, looking at some of these trees... Don't want to talk myself into a hole here, but I kind of like Northern better. See? Yeah, 31 kilometers away. Okay, so you can't say I'm only relying on the Google car meta there. That's a, that's a really nice guess, especially for Ukraine. It's a big country. Okay, rock walls here. Um, This might be a streak ender. Definitely has potential to be. So is it Wales? Well, play the classic game with me. Is it Wales or is it Ireland? <sighs> okay, so... Would love to see a number plate or something here. Of course, we have none. This house here feels very Irish to me. Okay, so do these ones. Could easily be Wales, this is the problem. This is the problem, so. Okay, so, I'll, oftentimes, Irish power poles will have like a yellow sticker on them, yellow warning sticker. Unfortunately, it's generation two and we're much too far away from any of them to actually see. Rock walls is definitely common in Ireland, but very common in UK as well, unfortunately, for us. 
This house for the red roof is interesting. These ones are definitely interesting. I think I would be silly to go... Well, so is that... So generation two makes things tough because I'm just trying to work out what this is even is. Is it a tractor or a big four wheel drive or... I can't tell what it would actually be, but... I can't really see a number plate on it either, so I wouldn't rely on it too much. But that looks like ocean to our north, east. Okay, that is actually kind of helpful. So, Wales obviously doesn't have too much northeast coastline. If we're here, I'm literally going to be so mad, so mad if we're right here. But look at all this, we have tons of that going on in Ireland, so that is rather nice. And it does get hilly over here as well. So I can imagine this being in Ireland or Northern Ireland like that, for sure. So maybe Northern Ireland is a better guess here. It certainly feels very green and cold. Maybe I like going Northern Ireland there. That way I cover my bases. If it ends up being Ireland, it's not too silly. But also, you know, um, it's 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 gotta be like it's gotta it's gotta be like a it's gonna be less painful if I get it wrong, and then also cover the whole UK. Yeah, I kind of like it better with all these hills that you have on the coast as well. Let's let's, let's actually check the rest of Ireland out here. So. They definitely have quite a bit of hills. Well, it is a lot of hills, isn't it? Okay, that doesn't really help me as much as I wanted. It definitely to the south there it doesn't. So I, I do expect that we're probably gonna be somewhere like here, up to here, with, with a chance of being like on a silly location over here or in Scotland or something. <sighs> Maybe Northern Ireland I go for. I'm just not sure. I think I will go for 43 streak. It's a nice one. But sometimes you're going to end on a, on a round like this, and I don't know. I would actually like to find a place that quite fits, you know, so that we can get a nice little score if it ends up being correct. Drains Bay. Very, very nice name. I like it. Hmm, maybe too, maybe too, cli too many cliffs over here. Maybe I like Ireland better. I feel like this kind of, this kind of, like, uh, area fits better right here. I have, like, hmm, I see anything. It's, it's, I'm sorry for taking so long, but I don't like losing streaks. And this house feels less Irish. The rest of them feel pretty Irish. I think I will go for Ireland here. Let's go for it. Oh, man, I should have just hedged in the UK. That makes sense. Um, but... Yeah, Gen 2 as well kind of makes sense there. Okay, well, we ended off on 43 there. Kind of a tragic round, not going to lie. Uh, Should have just gone Northern Ireland. I would have been much more in line with the uh, with the kind of... Um, you feel me with the, with the latitude, but um, looking at this, the hills definitely fit. Rural Isle of Man is going to be tough, and with no number plates is the real kicker. Because any number plates be there, we, we were going to be fine with the red strip. And even if we could have just seen a back plate, but of course it's the worst quality Gen 2, not even close to any poles or anything. So we get 4.5k. So guys, we're still on the road to 100. I think that was a pretty good episode. Definitely pulled some nice guesses as well. I'm going to remember that Sweden place. I didn't realize they had that many mountains. So pretty cool. But um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I'll see you guys in another one soon. We're going we're gonna to get that 100, I promise. But until then, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one.